and sending it back out to Greenwood. Welcome back to Greenwood. Yes, Diane, thank you. We have so much history in Greenwood. Tons. Obviously doing a little research before we came because I wanted to be prepared. I visited a couple of times, but really oh, yeah. based off of the railroads and the mills. I'm surprised we haven't heard it this morning. I know. I know. It's, it's on its way. Right? Oh yeah, those tracks, we can see them. Uh, railroad Museum. Times? Oh. 38 times? 38 It's times. busy. That's a busy track. That train goes through here. <laughs> but you know what? It was really, really helpful. Of course, back years ago, that was transportation. That right. was how to get goods and services in many ways. And brought people to Greenwood. Our 7 News is Taylor Farmer. She dives a little bit deeper into Greenwood's rich history. Greenwood. Those who have lived here all their lives describe it as a slow-paced, small town, friendly atmosphere with a rich history. Oh, the Revolutionary War. <laughs> yeah, a huge impact here, and, and South Carolina played a big part in it. Greenwood County is home to a national historic site, Star Fort, where the first land battle south of New England was fought. Construction of Star Fort began in 1780, built by soldiers and slaves, five years after the Revolutionary War began. And the shape of the fort is actually in the shape of a star which was to, def you know, to make defending it easier. So you, you wouldn't have just this long straight line that would be easy to bombard. Mill villages were unique in Greenwood as well. Made out of brick with slate roofs, they still stand today. They're excellent quality, modestly priced, and um, they are gonna be here for a good long while. Greenwood is also home to the widest Main Street in the United States. It's because of all those railroads that were going through downtown. And they, they essentially had to have two Main Streets. The story of Greenwood's history is laid out right here on these tracks. As locals would tell you, the town was built by the railroad. Greenwood was a railroad town. Greenwood's first rail line opened in 1852. We're told it was instrumental in stimulating textile manufacturing, which quickly became the backbone of the local economy. And the railroad enabled the, the textile mills to carry their goods across the country and, and to prosper. Still a viable part of the economy, thousands of visitors come to Greenwood each year to check out the trains that helped grow the area from a population of 300 to a population now of more than 20,000. In Greenwood, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. And don't you forget that you can always go to the Greenwood Museum. That is from 10 to 5 Wednesday to Saturday. Railroad Historical Center, that is 10 to 4 on Saturday. So come on out tomorrow, see some topiaries, grab a bite, and then go to those. A perfect way to spend your Saturday. Diane, yeah. we'll send it back to you for a check of our top stories.